Heck no. I don't want that kind of embarrassment. Come on, before he's fighting. Okay, nice one. Only three bullets. No! <laughs> oh, nice shot. <laughs> Yo, you were oh, definitely behind the wall on your screen. Hey guys, Derek here, and uh, here we are. So, um, with X Defiant Beta now being closed, we were we were leaning on that game quite a bit actually. Um, we always had <laughs> we were we had made it a routine to get on. Now that you know X Defiant's over, we're like, okay, we need a serious game plan for what the heck is going to happen. Uh, I believe it was Wednesday this week, the first day X Defiant wasn't up and running. So we all were exploring different avenues. I even did like a little vote for game thing on Discord. And turns out Battlefield is probably going to hold us over um, until X Defiant or something else comes around. Uh, but I decided to use the time to venture over to Ironside again just to see um, what's changed. And apparently there's a new map, which I actually didn't get in the rotation during our session. This Uzi here that we're using actually feels... Quite nice, it's low recoil on the horizontal scale, which I always enjoy, and pretty low on the vertical too. But um, yeah, I wanted to see what was changing in Iron Sight, and the gameplay we pulled from here is basically Iron Sight as I remember it. CTF, you spawn trap till a couple people leave, and then you get even more map position. Um, CTF is kind of, that's that, what I just saw in that clip too, and I was commenting on my stream, I don't ever remember Iron Sight having this much muzzle flash. Like, did this, is this something that they introduced not that long ago? I feel like it's actually really hard to track people in Iron Sight now. It's like as soon as you start shooting, you can't see much. Maybe it depends on the guns and attachments. Maybe the suppressor takes that away. But a couple of these clips, you'll notice like as soon as you start spraying, you kind of lose your target. Um, but yeah, I, I, <laughs> otherwise it's been kind of the same. Um, I haven't tried. I think I've tried all the guns in Iron Sight. Like the 74U was brought in. I tried that a little bit. The Uzi I've tried. New map I have yet to see. I don't even know the name of it or what it looks like. Maybe we'll try a bit more Iron Sight just to see the map and whatnot. Um, Iron Sight does have a limitation of like three people, I guess. So we were playing with a bit more. So uh, like in the opening clip, like Pat got into our game. Um, but we still have to, you know, try to queue at the same time and get in. But right now, the state of FPS games, I might actually do a couple more Iron Sight uploads. I'm not even sure at this point. Shatterline is just a straight queue simulator. Um, we had three sessions in a row go over 10 minute queues without a game um, with only about two or three people uh, on well on top of um, it was so like four people total or three people total. We've had really long queues. So Shatterline really isn't going to cut it since we can't actually play the game. Fun game, but it's it's going lower and lower on the player base and it's, you know, <laughs> it's good. I think it's actually eventually going to be might be more dead than Ironside. I think Ironside's core community is more dedicated than Chatterlines, but who knows? Um, I think X Defiance is, is going to be a pretty big launch, though. Uh, I think we're. I think they had like a million people on the play test or something like that. They had a headline that there was over a million accounts created or something like that. So, being a AAA studio, being cross plat right off the bat, as long as they get netcode fixed, because that will tank their game as we've seen similarly with iron sight um net code and server performance tanks the games that we're playing so as long as they get get, get that going x divine is going to be pretty sweet um but yeah this was iron sight i uh, hope you guys enjoyed some of the gameplay in the background here probably going to play a little bit more of it also had a really fun time on scum recently and still doing some vr racing and whatnot but yeah, that's about it for me. Might see a couple more Iron Sight uploads. It was fun, like knowing the maps and you know where to flick to and all this and that. It comes back to you pretty quick. But yeah, that'll do it for me, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video.